Hi and welcome to today's topic. Today we're going to talk about context diagrams. So this is a question from the IPT paper from 2010. And basically the question, it says, a state government is introducing new digital combined red light speed cameras. These new cameras are very similar to existing speed and red light cameras, except that they use digital imaging technology and utilize different detection technologies such as road sensors, as opposed to radar devices. The digital camera works by taking digital images of any vehicle that runs a red light and or exceeds the speed limit. The image and information is then loaded directly to, into the infringement processing system. So now we have to break down this question and we have to highlight all of the important points. The most important points to create a context diagram is you need to know what the information system is. So the whole system, like what is it actually trying to do? And you can see here that it does say that it is called the infringement processing system. So this, this system will process infringements. You also have to find out who are the participants, who are the, the people or things that either give or receive data. And then finally you have to find out what is what data is actually being transferred around. So to start this context diagram, we need to start with what the system is. And we know by looking at the question that it is an infringement processing information system. We then need to list our entities. Now the camera is the main entity that um, inputs data into the system, but also the driver would get the fine in the end. So they would be considered an entity as well. We then have to worry about our flow lines and we also have to label everything that goes from one point to the next. So it's clear here that the red light camera will indicate the speed of the vehicle and put it into the entire information system. But also the red light camera will take a digital image of the vehicle as well. Once that's processed, the driver then would receive the fine. Anyways, that's a quick look at how to create a context diagram. Hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.